this is what you get in the mail when you get an ESC. It's just one piece of paper and a lot of Chinese writing on the back. It's for the Simon K firmware. And uh, basically, this is how you program an ESC. You should have a servo tester because they're very handy, but you can use your transmitter for this. If you use your transmitter, you might have to plug it directly into the receiver instead of going through the flight controller because the flight controller has uh, issues with programming ESCs. I've, I've tried to do it through that and it just doesn't work too great. So, <coughs> you want to turn your throttle all the way up when you plug in the servo cable. I'm going to change the start force on this to show you what happens. Okay, these are the options. That's the worst option. That's number one. Now it's probably not going to start. Yeah, see, it won't start because it's got no start force. So I'm going to change the start force again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reprogram it for the default start force. I Including that the battery and putting it back in. And I'm going to put the throttle all the way up. And I'm going to plug this in. Start force is number three, so it's three beeps. Oops, I missed it. I'm going to have to wait for it to come back around. So I'm looking for 10. That's 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. Ten. I went up with the throttle and then back down. Now, <coughs> I can get it to turn on the roof.
That works. That's how you change the star force. Let's try that one more time. Don't mind the uh, terrible bearing sound and unbalanced look of this motor because it is a bad motor. It's, it was crashed and it's, the shaft is bent and the bearings are not too great. But it's good for testing and for programming my ESCs. Um, if I wanted to program the timing, I would wait for the two beeps in program programming mode. And I would turn the throttle either down or up, depending on what it was on currently. I think it would be up, so I'd turn it down after I heard two beeps. Then, and I'd leave it down. Then I would go to the timing, and it would be uh, five different options on mine. There might be more options on yours, but uh, the third option is the default. Online. So I would do the third option, and um, as soon as you hear the third option, do the throttle up, and then back down, or, yeah, up and then back down, and that would save it, and then it would go back into the mode, the ready, ready to run mode, and it did a little beep, and then you could test it. And that's how you program an ESC. So save this paper when you get the ESCs because it's very important, actually. I, I didn't even realize it until uh, earlier today. I looked at it. I just thought it told me what battery I could use on my ESC, but it actually tells you a lot more than that. All right. If you have questions, just ask me in the comments.